up you guys so today I decided that I would show you guys a little recipe video because I'm doing something new in the kitchen and I thought I'd give you guys a little rundown on what I'm doing the recipe that I'm trying and yeah so if you want to see more from Sam's kitchen then just keep watching okay so I've already made eggplants this is so easy and look at how delish okay so basically all i did was take eggplants cut the tops off cut them right down the middle and then take the half and cut it in half lengthwise so you get a few pieces like this with the skin on the back and a few pieces like this with just the flesh on both sides so I brushed them with avocado oil and I put balsamic vinegar on top and that was it. I put them in the oven for roughly 20-25 minutes at about 175 Celsius and this is how they came out. So I'm really excited to try them. I haven't actually tried them yet but my boyfriend's mom makes it all the time. That's where I got the idea. So figured I'd let you guys in on that one and right now I'm also baking pumpkin we get a big piece of pumpkin each week from the organic vegetable delivery that we get. And I usually just chop it up, throw some garlic, um, some smoked paprika, and some chipotle powder on it, salt and pepper, and then a little bit of oil as well. Throw that in the oven, let that also roast for 20 minutes or so. And yeah that's super easy I do that usually once a week this is our fridge clean out day so we're also cooking our new addition okra if you guys don't know what okra is I don't really either okra is this beautiful plant plant I, I don't even know what it would be called otherwise but it is like maybe in the bean family I'm not exactly sure but they are these are purple okra which i don't know if all okra is supposed to be purple but i do know that there is some green as well you can see that the green changes to purple on some of them they're super beautiful and i have a bowl here today that i've already washed which is very important to get rid of the sliminess of okra so I've done some research and all I remember from okra is that it can be very slimy. So I washed it off very, very good first and then I patted it dry on a dry dish towel and I've just placed it in this bowl. Everything is completely dry, dry to the touch, everything just to make sure um, that there is no sliminess. You need to make sure that everything is dry. So you have to have a completely dry cutting board and a dry knife and make sure no water comes in contact so you can avoid the slimy part. Um, what I saw when I read about okra is that the slimy part is activated from water, which is why everything needs to be dry. And it's also the same chemical, not chemical, the same, the same thing that's in aloe vera like the sliminess of aloe vera so i don't know i thought that was really interesting <laughs> now um the menu the menu the recipe that i decided to make is an orange what is it called mm. orange balsamic roasted okra and I thought that was really good because I have balsamic vinegar, I have orange juice. I don't actually have oranges, which it does call for a zest of orange, but I can't really be picky because I have orange juice, which is 100% orange juice. It is like juiced oranges in a bottle. So I have that and I figured I will just get by with that without the lemon zest, without the orange zest. And yeah, so let's get into it. Let me check the recipe here. Okay. So this looks, so this looks much simpler than I thought. Basically what you do is you just take the okra, you 
rinse it, you dry it, and then you cut it in half lengthwise. And I also saw that they're leaving on the tops as well. So you don't really need to take the tops off. They will also cook and they are also edible. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut now. Dry knife, very important. And we're gonna cut them. lengthwise and this is what okra looks like on the inside kind of like a pepper when it's cut open now it will be slimy a little bit to the touch when you are cutting it but that's okay once we cut it once we roast it it'll be good to go yeah it's a little slimy but that's okay Remember, no wet anything. Okay, so the next step is to simply transfer the okra into a completely dry bowl and toss it with olive oil and sea salt, teaspoon olive oil. Seems like not so much, but I'm sure it will coat it. And half a teaspoon sea salt which we don't have so we're just going to do pink salt maybe a tiny bit extra because pink salt is not as salty as sea salt and then we toss it up i like to mix things like this with my tongs here Is this more than a pound? Is that why it's like that? You know what, let's just do teeny tiny bit more oil because I think I have more okra than what the recipe calls for, which means maybe we need a teeny tiny bit more salt. That looks good. Now, so the pumpkin is done. And I like to put it in the air fryer to crisp it up when we're gonna eat it. It's roasted to perfection right now. You don't want it to be too mushy because then it will just fall apart. So for now, all of the pumpkin will go in here. Cutting them in bigger pieces actually is better because when it roasts, it loses its size a little bit. Yum. I'm going to keep the sheet as is. There's really nothing but like oil on it. And I don't want to clean it because it's going to make it watery. And I know that the okra doesn't like that. So I'm just going to scrape a little bit of the stuff off. Yum. Okay, so the okra is in. 
in and right now all we need is a timer for 25 minutes. Hey Siri, can you set a timer for 25 minutes? At 4.50 and let's see what happens. In the meantime, it does say that we should be making the glaze. So, let me consult back to my recipe. Zest and juice from one orange. That's about a fourth to a third of a cup of orange juice. Let's go with a third because why not? We also don't have the zest. So, a third of a cup of orange juice. This is the orange juice that I'm using. It is 100% squeezed oranges. One and a half tablespoons of balsamic. Also need maple. On a high heat, take your orange juice, your balsamic, your maple, and your garlic. Now it calls for fresh, but I only have powder. So we're just gonna have to go with it. And whisk that together. I'm gonna go ahead and actually grab a whisk. So I don't have a real whisk anymore because mine broke. So I'm gonna whisk these clumps in. And what we're looking for is for this to reduce by half. So we wanna let this simmer and whisk it up. This is my makeshift whisk, my stand mixer, my hand mixer, not my stand mixer. Oh my god! We're just gonna try that again with splash of orange juice. Splash more balsamic. I definitely think there's enough garlic in there now. Splash of maple. That sucks. Okay, listen. I know I said I didn't have the orange because I don't, but the zest is necessary so i took the next best thing and i zest my uh lemon and it's perfect but i need more I need a lot more so i'm gonna have to do another lemon As you can see, I'm very blurry right now from all the steam. Guys, you can see me now. Oh, so the bamya, the okra is burned, very burned to a crisp. And I'm not really sure what I did wrong. It said 450 for 25 minutes. I truly don't think it's at 450. Like 450 is freaking very high. And I don't roast vegetables that high normally, but I listened to what it said and no, there's like no freaking way. So now to start over. I just sent Ofra on a mission to go get more because I'm gonna clean up my mess and start again. But at least you guys get to come along with me for the ride. Okay guys, 
I'm back with the success story. We found okra. It wasn't as much as I needed, but we made it do. And I just tossed it. It's super tasty, totally worth it. But there's no possible way that you can cook okra cut in half at that temperature for that amount of time. I cooked it at 350 and it was like 10, 15 minutes and that was like it. It's really, really, really easy, quick cook, quick cook, you know. So I figured we'll put a plate together and I'll show you guys lunch. Okay guys, this is how the meal turned out. We have two plates, one for me, one for Ofa. The only difference is my bun is like a khala bun and his is like a regular bun with sesame seeds. And we have the baked pumpkin, some leftover baked potato french fries, uh, vegan chicken with vegan cheese, lettuce and tomato, uh, homemade hummus, homemade, uh, Abu Hassan hummus on the bun and the eggplant. We have the okra, a little leftover salad, an old price plate, and two lovely glasses of water. I hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to go ahead and eat, and I will catch you back in my next. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching so much. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.